These are these are pretty outsized interest rate hikes that we're seeing that and that we haven't seen it very often historically. It's going to hurt. And Jason Furman, among others, pointing out, you know, there's going to be higher unemployment than than we would like, maybe for a couple of years. But are you in favor of these actions to try to make sure that we don't let inflation uh, get too uh, ingrained in the economy? Well, I think more people working is a good thing. I think we are looking at a supply side issue. So if higher rates cause businesses to fold and people to get fired, I don't see how that helps resolve um, inflation caused by, by too little output. Um, I think it, it doesn't make much sense to, to engage in monetary tightening if you don't have a handle on reckless fiscal policy. So, so you you have right, right. now monetary fiscal working against each other. They well, should be better. Right, we're not going to get a handle on that, at least not <laughs> not for a little while. And uh, are you saying you wouldn't raise rates right now? Uh, you're not going to get the supply side uh, cures that, that you're looking for, not the way where we are currently. So, are you saying the Fed should not be raising rates, or now that we're already faced with this, they have little choice than than, uh, than to take that action? What What are you saying exactly? Well, I think, look, I th I'm in favor of a Copernican revolution in monetary policy. I I think that we allow the Fed to be the center of the universe, and then that brings to the forefront exactly these kinds of conversations. And even getting obsessed with whether it's going to be 75 points in September and then another 50 and then another 50, or will it be three increases of 50 in the remaining three Fed uh, FOMC meetings this year? Um, I'm disturbed that it comes down to this because I don't think that just raising interest rates is the answer. Um, I think, as I said, these other issues, trade and tax policy, um, energy policy, less regulation, all of those things would do so much more to have a productive economy. And instead, we just have the Fed trying to crush the demand. So, no, I'm, I'm not happy with continuing to increase rates uh, because yeah. I don't think low unemployment is inflationary and I don't think growth is inflationary. But I understand that because we are fixated on the messaging from the Fed, the Fed feels it has to, to live up to this uh, tough approach and prove it's all broker. And we also see the ECB having to raise rates. Finally, they have a positive interest rate going to the 75 basis points, but they're still considerably behind our own interest rate. And so there are still these effects on the dollar euro rate. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.